hello there and welcome to the GoPro guide of my favorite climbing trail in all of Australia. This is Middle Earth here at Fox Creek. So as I said in canonically the first GoPro guide which was for Orange Whip and Blue Groove. This is my favorite climbing trail here in all of Australia, Fox Creek in South Australia, so just outside of Adelaide. It is a 3.6 kilometer climbing trail, which starts at the lower car park, right where Blue Groove also finished. And it's going to take us all the way back up to the top. So for my brewery recommendation, since we're halfway out of Adelaide, I'm going to recommend Prancing Pony Brewery. Now it has been a while since I've had their beers again, probably around five to six years ago, back when I came here for the last trip. And also when Hop Supply did stock a few of their beers. Right after this ride, I'm actually gonna go over there, have a few pizzas with the wife, and do a tasting paddle. So, through the power of editing magic, um, these are my recommendations popping up screen. So, power of editing will allow me to say, here are my top three preferred. I'm not exactly sure what I recommended, but usually with my recommendations, it's either something very cool, very funky, and easily approachable, which could be the case for the top one. I'll make the top one the quite approachable one. And then usually just stuff that I like, probably the second one. And then the third one will just be, hey, go for it if you want. It's actually kind of cool. So thanks, Edding Magic. Let's continue on with the ride. That just looks a bit haunting from a distance. Look like an elephant's rib cage. And long ago there used to be a tree that went over this little hairpin. Looks like it decayed or was burnt away. But as I said, the region hasn't exactly had glorious weather for trees in the past five years. Bit more of a lush bit of the trail. And just with that grey sky, geez, it does feel like we're going off to throw the one ring into the fires. Probably also why it's so damn humid. But we'll keep trudging on. So rough calculation about 1.82 kilometers into this and I forgot there was just a part where it drastically steepens in gradient and you're just chugging on the pedals the entire time and luckily once you get to the top of just that really green grade grueling climb which it does take a bit of fitness don't think that it was a very shallow gradient but you're just greeted by this wonderful breeze you can sort of hear it blowing amongst the trees right now and again it's fairly it's a fair green grade challenge so people can walk their bikes up it, but if you've got the confidence and you choose the right gear, any beginner should be able to chug their way up that climb. All right, just coming down a little bit of a descent on Middle Earth. We're getting relatively close to the end as it opens out 
onto this open valley, which a few years ago did have a lot of these trees still in place. So most of these trees were still left standing, but as I eventually turned the camera around, this part up ahead had just been logged. So it's a bit of a contrast having what was previously tall trees and pine needles that littered the ground and made nice soft loam to be the graveyard of trees or ends as I would call them in Lord of the Rings. Wife will need to cross check that. Um, but then this part here, this was desolate and empty. So to have this now all green is quite a contrast. And it really just shows what happens with mountain bike trails in forestry areas. You ride a trail one year and it's in a dense forest with pine needles and roots everywhere. And then the next year it's loose on hard pack through a relatively barren area. And that's true for Bright especially. Bright definitely has that sort of contrast as they start to cut down some of their forestry areas and then have to redo trails like Corkscrew and Curtin and Shred Kelly and even Dreamweaver one day will fall and be reborn. Good thing I didn't slow down, pedal up that. There's also just that nice soft smell of rain in the air. A little bit of a mist, but I love it. Really do love this. Not sure if it's really showing up on film, but off to the left there, you can see a big neon orange rectangle. That's the free ride wall at the upper car park, free ride park. As we end the Middle Earth ride here, 